welcome back everybody to the video series dedicated show on Bravo where Colin loves to talk yachty to you. That's right, I'm talking about Below Deck Mediterranean Season 4 Episode 16 and in this episode, Dr. Jack diagnoses Joao with syphilis, tough break. Speaking of Jack, he asks Asia to be his girlfriend and Travis doesn't get sloshed on a night out with the boys. Woo! That's major, major progress. But let's get into this episode and I want to talk about what's going on for the rest of this season. There's only a few episodes left until the season finale. I can't believe it. But as I say that, everybody seems to be working and gelling together, which is weird to say on a Bravo show, on a Below Deck show, on a Below Deck Mediterranean season. But now, tensions are rising as the end is looming near. And let's begin with the small spout between Joao and Captain Sandy. It all starts with Joao taking the charter guest on the jet ski, and the jet ski dies. Instantly, Captain Sandy is frustrated. Why did Joao take the charter guest using that jet ski when he didn't even test it to see if it would drive? Or if it wouldn't die on him in the middle of the sea to where Travis has to go and pick them up? So later on that night, when they're trying to figure out what's going on with the jet ski, why is it dying, why isn't it turning over, and Captain Sandy comes down, talks to them, and is trying to give, her, give them some suggestions from her expertise, and she goes, well, what about the spark plugs? How about you just change out the spark plug? It'll take two seconds, then we'll figure out that it's not the spark plugs. And Joao, like, comes down hard and pretty defensive and says, it's not the spark plugs. Trust me, it's not the spark plugs, it's something else. We know it's not the spark plugs. It's definitely not the spark plugs. And Captain Sandy loses it on Joao. They're just gonna not use that jet ski, but later on in the tip meeting, they say, let's squash the beef, let's uh, forgive and forget, and then let's just finish off this charter season as solid as we can. I'm just gonna touch on a few things. Jack asked Asia to be his girlfriend. They're all happy. She says yes. They're fully in lovey lust. I don't know what to say for that. And then Travis goes out with the guys out on the town after this charter guest leave. And Travis doesn't get wasted. He has a few glasses of wine. He has some sparkling water. And he actually walks back onto the boat under his own power. He didn't need any help. But now let's move on to the interior. Normally Hannah is not doing as well as she has in this season. I mean, early on, she's been doing pretty well. She's been in Captain Sandy's good graces throughout the whole season. I also think that there's other competing factors taking away from her, like the galley situation. Hannah has been able to skirt by without taking the full brunt of Captain Sandy's frustrations. But this episode, it starts to show as she is kind of dropping the ball in her own department. So let's take, for example, Captain Sandy comes to Hannah, and the only thing she's getting on Hannah about in this season so far is the table decoration. She wants the table decorations to be on a whole nother level. And what does Hannah do? She passes it on to her third stew, Anastasia. And I think Anastasia also is, plays a big part in this because when Anastasia came back from being on galley duty and being the chef, I think Hannah took her foot off the gas and was like, well, I don't have to try as hard because Anastasia's here. And Anastasia was the quote unquote perfect third stew. Come to find out, Anastasia took her foot off the gas pedal and so when Hannah sends or shirks off her responsibilities to Anastasia, and Anastasia drops the ball on that one, but it ultimately leads back to the responsibility of Hannah. The whole situation with the white party, I mean, everybody is going out for this thing. Ben is putting his heart and soul into this, ordering extra revisions, uh, making sure he's wearing white, even though they won't see him in the galley. He's making Jack pick out all the white peppercorns. He's making all this stuff special. And even Asia is trying to make this a special occasion for the charter guests, at, talking about her makeup. She wants white glittery makeup on everybody. She was brought up the suggestion of the white glove service. Even Captain Sandy was all excited about the white glove service. And then she brings up to Hannah, and Hannah's just like, I'm out of this. I'm piecing out of this charter season very, very soon. This is the penultimate charter guest. I don't want to do any of that. And she even says that to Asia. And... It was almost like, get at, why are you questioning me? When, the way she says it, because Asia's like, can we do white glove service? And Hannah's like, no, we're not doing that. And Asia asks why, and Hannah's just like, cause I don't want to. And, and she's trying to make it sound in like a jokey type of voice tone. However, it came off as like, are you questioning me? Why are you questioning me? I'm, we're not doing it. I said no. Almost as if Asia is like five years old. And Asia just seems like, I don't want to suggest anything. I don't want to put in any extra effort because 
it, she just is gonna knock me down anyways. All that to say that they go into the tip meeting and Captain Sandy rails on Hannah, especially Hannah, Anastasia, and Asia saying that they are dropping the ball. It's the end of the season, the deck crew is all together, they're doing everything that they possibly can to make this a great thing. Ben is finally getting the galley into a much higher level situation that it's never been this whole season and now we got the galley doing its thing, it's doing its part. And now when everything else is in place, we finally figure out that the interior is the weak group and it all starts with Hannah and Hannah puts it out perfectly. She can take one of two paths, whether she's going to say, uh, forget about it, this is the last charter guess of the charter season, I'm done with this, who cares? Or she can put the pedal to the metal and go all out for the last charter guess for the charter season. And she picks the ladder. She says, I'm going to stay on this boat while everybody's going to go out. I want to stay on this boat and get all the decorations I can and really prepare for the next dinner services for this last charter guest. Anastasia stays with her. Asia goes out to celebrate her being girlfriend and Jack's uh, proposal to be the girlfriend. But this episode ends with Joao getting a nasty fever of 102 degrees where Colin calls somebody and they come pick him up and take him to hospital. I can't believe it. What's going to happen with Joao? I have no idea, but what do you think is going to happen with Joao? Let me know in the comment section below. Do you think Joao is out for the rest of the charter season, or do you think he comes back? And if he comes back, do you want him around the guests, or uh, sneezing and coughing all over the boat? Let me know that in the comment section below. What do you think about Hannah's leadership duties? Do you think she's doing well with the interior, or do you think she's dropping the ball like Captain Sandy thinks? Let me know that in the comment section below. I want to hear what you have to say. And while you're down there, hit that like and subscribe button. I'll be back really, really soon with more videos. I got Going in Blind coming out Wednesday night. Thursday night is the challenge video. Saturday is the challenge brief history. And join me next week, Tuesday night, for another review and recap of Below Deck Mediterranean Season 4. But until then, peace!